I'm now experimenting with the spindle for the air quick change, the air drawbar mod. It's very hard finding the valvule washers, but basically what you do is get your valve washers to match your drawbar that's a 12 mil drawbar that's roughly 25 mil and you decide on your stacking order if they face that way that's one deflection and one force if you stack them two up that's twice as strong so that's twice the force but it's still only one deflection, so if it deflects 10 thou, it'll only be 10 thou. But if you flip it that way, force is one, force is still one, but the, the deflection has doubled. So when it pushes down to, to lock the quick change collet, you have to have force to pull it like you would when you tighten it up. To pull it so as it's tight doesn't come out but then you have to have movement so when the air cylinder pushes on the top there's enough movement to push the Morse 3 collet out and loose and this this will drop out but unfortunately most of the places where you walk in industrial supplies they sell them to you but they can't give you the specs on the pressure so you find one, and one person, one company may only sell one type. You don't have to search for another one. Some sell them for $7 each. Some sell them for 30 cents each. There must be a difference. But they say, oh yeah, they're all the same. But one says don't, to, don't play them because the hydrogen embrittlement. The other say, oh, well, that's fine. So the, this is 0.9 mil. That's 1.2. So this is the two up, two down, two up, and then one. And this is just for testing. So what I do is I put it underneath the press and just use a lever, push it in, see how hard it is to pull out the collet, and just keep trying. Because I have no specs for these. But I will end up going, I think, two and two. And two and two. So, two, four, six, eight. Then, once, once that's done, you then can design your RAM assembly and the mounting points on the head. And that's why the head is all stripped. Because once I finish the test, I'll have to drill holes where I decide to mount the um, actual assembly and as you can see there's not much room and there's not much meat and you don't want to be putting forces on the thin, thin area like that because it won't last too long <coughs>